Good morning everyone. We've got another great show today for you. Today we're talking secrets of iOS 11 coming out in September, why looking at your phone actually makes you dumber, Amazon robots invading Whole Foods, GoPro footage of an alligator nearly taking off a man's head, and more. Let's get right to it. You're watching Wake Up and Watch This, the show that you can watch every weekday to learn everything you need to know about today. iOS 11's blue bar is going to shame apps that are using your location too much. Apple's new mobile operating system, iOS 11, which ships to the public in September, will give users a better understanding of how apps are using their location data. One change that's immediately going to be obvious is a blue status bar that is going to appear when an app is actively using your location while running in the background. In iOS 11, Apple has changed how the arrow works. Now when an app requests location, a hollow arrow displays, and when the app actually receives location, that arrow becomes filled for a few seconds. This will better represent to users exactly when and how often an app is actually using location and, in fact, may mean that many apps will display the solid arrow less often. The apps that are going to be impacted the most by this are those that tend to lurk in the background 24-7 even if the user has not run the app in the foreground for a long time. This is largely going to include family safety and family locator type apps, smart home apps, insurance, telematics apps, and those other apps that are using location based advertising. This is a big deal because a lot of apps today are set to always use your location without the user's knowledge. According to this diagram, 21% of location using apps on iOS are set to always. With the more obvious blue bar, that number may decrease as users become aware of what their apps are doing. But this could be a positive for developers too. Carlos Ribas, creator of the app Hours Tracker said, I think iOS 11 will over time encourage users to use these functions more, confident that if the app is doing something battery killing, like continuous monitoring, the blue bar will make that clear to them and they can disable it. A study at the University of Texas found that glancing at your phone actually makes you dumber. Researchers and participants had to perform a series of math problems while simultaneously being asked to remember a randomly generated word sequence that gradually updated. These participants were separated into three groups. The first was asked to leave their cell phones out on their desks, the second was asked to stow them in a bag or purse, and the third was asked to place their devices in an adjacent room. All of the participants were asked to keep their phones silenced throughout the experiments. Those who could see their phones solved a significantly lower number of math problems and remembered less letters, according to the researchers. This might be some evidence that keeping your phone in your backpack during class might actually help you do better on your homework or assignments or whatever problems you're working on just because it's less of a distraction and you can stay focused on what you're doing. So it turns out your parents are probably right and you're annoying teachers. Amazon acquired Whole Foods for $13.7 billion recently and the strategy looks like it's to be able to enter that food delivery market. Experts are now suggesting that Amazon could start innovating the store by adding warehouse robots. According to Bloomberg, Amazon will introduce robots into Whole Foods warehouses as a way to cut down on costs. Gary Hawkins, the CEO of the Center for Advancing Retail and Technology, says that this potential cost-cutting measure will help automate Whole Foods warehouses and allow Amazon to compete with larger retailers such as Walmart. As it is, Amazon distribution centers aren't equipped to handle fresh food in the same way retailers are. So we could be seeing door delivery groceries from Amazon very soon and a lot more frequently. 
It'll be interesting to see how this plays out with your local grocery stores and competing retailers. A man captured a video of an alligator almost taking off his head using a GoPro. The Gator Crusader, as he calls himself, just said that everybody always wants to know what an alligator bite is like. Check out this video. Hello, fellow Gator Crusaders. Everybody always wants to know what is an alligator bite like? Well, I'm gonna put this camera right here on my head and let the alligator bite the camera so you can see firsthand what a gator bite is like. But keep in mind, when you see the gator biting the camera, it is attached to this. It is an inch from my head. Smile. It's a little disappointing that we didn't get to see the alligator actually demolishing the camera, but an interesting video nonetheless, considering the man was wearing the GoPro right on his forehead. We're going to finish off today's show with the NBA award winners that were announced yesterday. Russell Westbrook from the Oklahoma City Thunder won the MVP award in a race that included James Harden, who also had a great season. Rookie of the year was Malcolm Brogdon from the Bucks. Sixth man award winner Eric Gordon from the Rockets. Teammate of the year Dirk Nowitzki from the Mavericks. Coach of the Year, Mike D'Antoni from the Rockets. Most Improved Player, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Defensive Player of the Year, Draymond Green. And Sportsmanship Award, Kemba Walker. That's it for today's show. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos and our other playlists. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.